Good morning, Hamilton. I'm so excited to see you here today on Wednesday, October 25th. It's going to be a wonderful day of working hard and being kind. Let's go ahead and get started. We have our vocabulary word for this week, setting. Where or when a story takes place, setting. So, so important to understand when you're reading a story, when is this taking place? Is this happening around the same time I'm alive or is this happening in the past? That will help you to frame your brain and understand what's happening in the story at a deeper level. Also understanding where the story takes place will help you to understand why certain things have to happen in the story because it, it has to match the setting. See if you can use that word in a sentence. Maybe describe your favorite setting of any books. To give you a hint of my trunk or treat costume, my favorite setting is Hogwarts. So you can maybe think about what I might, you might see me as for trunk or treat tomorrow. Okay. We also have our core essential of integrity, choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do, right? So, wrong page, here we go. So this month's big idea is integrity and our application this month says that integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. That means you have control of what you say and do. And you get to choose every day. You get to come to school and make a choice. Am I going to choose to be truthful in what I say or do? Or am I not going to, am I, choose, am I going to choose to not be truthful in whatever I say and do? You get to pick every single day. That's a really big decision. And you are in control of that. Which choice are you going to make today? Are you going to choose to be truthful in what you say or do? Or are you going to choose to not be truthful in whatever you say and do? I hope that you choose to be a leader at Hamilton, to show working hard and being kind. And I hope that you choose to also show integrity in what you say and what you do. I know you can do it because that's just what Hamilton, Hamilton kids do. All right, a couple of reminders. So remember, tomorrow we have our trunk or treat. It is after school. We are not wearing costumes to school tomorrow. We're not. We're not doing costumes during the school day. You go home at the end of the day tomorrow, and then you come back for trunk or treat with your family. We're not bringing pets, right? We're not wearing masks. We're also not doing any costumes that are too bloody or gory, and we are not having any weapons, even if it goes with your costume. For example, my son Robbie's going to be Peter Pan for, for Halloween um, this year, and he's, um, he has a little sword as part of his... his uh, his costume, it's a play sword, it's not real. But when he goes to school, he cannot, to his school's trunk or treat, he cannot take that sword with him. The sword part has to stay at home because that's what we can do at home. We cannot do that at school, it's a school rule, okay? Make sure you're really remembering that. If I see you with that, I'm either going to have to take it or I'm going to have to ask you to leave, okay? All right, make sure you're making great choices today and tomorrow. I want you to be able to earn the right to come to Trunk or Treat and have fun with your family. You deserve it. All right, Hamilton, I hope you have a wonderful day of working hard and being kind. Make today as great as you are. And at this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance.